Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing amazing. I have got a lip swatch video for you and it's been quite a while since we did a little lip swatch. So I'm excited to get into it. Today we're gonna to be testing out the Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. Now this sounded super intriguing to me and I noticed that I haven't seen anybody posting about these. I saw that they were new on the Wet n Wild website so I ordered a bunch. I think I actually ordered mine from Ulta but I'm seeing now online that these are $4.99 on the Wet n Wild website, but they're only $3.99 at Target. So I will link them down below if you guys want to check them out for yourself. And I'll link both places just in case there's a deal or anything going on. But I'm very, very excited. I have every single shade, 13 shades. So let me give you a look at what the packaging looks like. Now these look super, super cute cloud pout on both sides you got the white and this is like a soft matte i actually really like the texture of this and this is just a couple of colors so that you can see them up close so this is supposed to be a comfortable light as a cloud soft matte finish these have argan oil avocado oil and vitamin e so this sounds really hydrating and like the perfect matte liquid lips so we're gonna find out if it is i know that the past couple of lip swatches i've done which have been really spaced out have been more hydrating formulas i did do the Milani ones which are beautiful hydrating formula but I know a lot of people are wearing matte liquid lipsticks so that their lip will stay on under masks so I know that's really important so when I saw these I was like well it's the perfect time to try out a matte liquid lip I'm really excited to do it it can be a pain to take them off but hopefully this is going to be a hydrating matte formula it says it has a sweet marshmallow scent let's go ahead and test that out Oh, that's good. If you don't like sweet, ooh, you're not gonna like this. <laughs> oh, but that smells so delicious to me. I love sweet like food scents, like candles, lip products, body care, anything. Give me the sweetness, I want it all. So it's supposed to be Bouncy Marshmallow Powder. It says blend for a beautifully diffused color or build for fully saturated color. And it's got a nice curved applicator as well. This type of an applicator is really nice to me. I do kind of prefer these. Um, it's got like little curve to it and a tip and a little bit of product usually sits right there in that curve to give you a nice amount to play with. It says it has sodium hyaluronate to hydrate and blur the appearance of fine lines. So that's pretty much it. So it's supposed to feel really light on the lips. It's supposed to be soft matte and buildable color and it's supposed to be moisturizing to the lips. I'm going to try my best to go from light to dark so that I don't have too much staining with these colors. I do have pretty pink lips already as you can see. My lips are just naturally pinker and color of course is a little bit different person to person your natural lip color will change the lip color a little bit but this will at least give you an idea of all the shades and I'm super super excited to share them with you so we're gonna start with cloud chaser it looks like a really pretty light pink Ooh, it feels really nice so right off the bat, I'm noticing it feels very, very light. When you're applying it, you definitely feel that moussey consistency. But when you're not paying attention to it and it's just on your lips, it doesn't really feel like a lot of weight. It feels very light. Now, I do find that sometimes with moussey consistencies, they're hard to blend and build. So a lot of times they'll like, you'll put some on and then you'll try to put a little bit more on and it will kind of like pick it up and move. So we're going to test that as well. That's pretty evenly dispersed. So far that feels really, really nice. The scent is everything. These feel really dreamy on the lips. I'm actually surprised that I haven't heard more about these. So we've only had it on for about 20 seconds. Oh wow. I was expecting a lot of transfer because I don't feel like it's really dried down. So let me try that again. Okay, so we've got a little bit of color coming off on my hand. Again, I probably have not allowed it to dry down completely. It feels really, really nice. My lips feel very, very comfortable. So I'm gonna go on to another color and we'll let some of the other ones dry down completely. But so far, so good. This is a cute light pink. I feel like this is very wearable, very cute. I like it. So after the first removal, my lips feel very, very comfortable. So, so far everything is really, really good. We've got a lot of pinks that look a little bit similar in the two, but of course that can be very different. So I think I'm going to go for another pink. This is called Cotton Candy Skies. It looks like it has a little bit more of just a hint more cool purplish pink, but as you can see, mostly just a true kind of baby pink. So let's put on Cotton Candy Skies. I 
I like that this is buildable too because in one swipe you're not getting completely opaque coverage so you can definitely go for a lighter feel if you want just a light layer and you don't have to have like full on color but you can totally add it and I think it'll probably slow down your drying time a little bit because I do feel like it's not drying down really fast. These feel so nice. Again, moussey of course because that's how it's described but very velvety. It does not feel heavy on my lips. Like I, my lips don't feel dry at all yet and I mean even for it to be any type of a matte, even if it's a semi matte, demi matte, comfort matte, whatever, still they can be pretty drying and this is not doing that so far. So once again, it's about 20, 30 seconds and I have a little bit of transfer, but it's just like a hint of color and then a little bit of like a hydrating kind of portion of it coming off the lips. So let's let this one dry down and see what happens. Okay, it's been about two minutes. Let's do, I don't have anything left on my hand. I cleaned that off. Yeah, I still have a little bit of transfer and as you can see, this one's a little bit more colorful. So you do see it. It doesn't say that it's transfer proof, so I don't necessarily consider that a bad thing. But so far, I'm in love with them. I don't care if there's a little bit of transfer for a liquid lip to feel this good. I will definitely be okay with that. So let's try another one. Okay, we have a pretty light nude and it's kind of like a little maybe peachy nude. There's some color to it. This one's called a fluffer nutter. <laughs> so what a cute name and it is a nice little nude. Okay, I went ahead and I'm like layering it up a little bit because you can still see a little hint of the pink coming through, which I'm fine with on a regular basis, but just to give you guys a little bit more accurate color, I'm going to layer some more. All right, so there's Fluffernutter. I am not typically like that keen on like peachy orangey nudes, but this one's pretty cute. I don't know what the difference is, but I'm liking this one a lot. What do you guys think? I definitely want to know at the end like what your favorite was, but so far I really like them all. I'm probably most keen for the first shade that we tried because it's just a little bit more towards the nude, but definitely pink. But all of these are really pretty. I'm impressed that I like this so much because usually these types of nudes are not my favorite, so I like it a lot. Okay, we've got a lot in the pink family, so I'm curious to see how these measure up. But the next one we're going to try is called Pour Some Sugar On Me. Actually, it says sugar, <laughs> which is really cute. So this is another pink. I know you probably may, may not be able to discern a lot of difference looking at it in the tube, but let's put it on. My lips feel amazing. Putting them on and taking them off, even for hydrating formulas, can be like a pain to your lips, but these feel so, so good. I'm like kind of flabbergasted. So as you can see, a little bit more pink. It's got a little brightness to it. And like, there's just like this hint of coral to it. But as you can see, it's mostly pink. It just kind of leans Mm, a little bit a little bit warm you know but it's such a pretty color perfect for spring I mean this is just generally just a really pretty color but it's a little bit brighter so it's perfect for spring and summer so again this is pour some sugar on me all right next we're gonna try up girl you're whipped <laughs> so it looks like it's a little bit more muted a pink which I told you guys lots of pink just little variations in the tones but everybody needs a good pink or nudie pink or whatever type of lip this one it's calling my name. Let's put it on. I'm really liking that when I'm pressing my lips together, it seems to even it out. Sometimes pressing your lips together with a liquid lip or a moussey or a satin or anything like that can kind of disturb it, but I feel like when I just press them together, it just kind of like smooths everything out, which is so nice because it can literally kind of reset as you're talking. I love it. So this one I'm really keen on and I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, bitch, there was hardly any difference. These are pretty close. So what I'm noticing is that pour some sugar on me, which is the one we used before this, it's just a little brighter. This is a little bit more toned down and I feel like more wearable. So if you're between the two, I just feel like this one's just ever so slightly a little darker and a little more muted. This one's just a little lighter, a little brighter, mostly just a little bit more bold, but still very pretty colors just a subtle difference between the two but this 
this is one of my like I would wear this every single day type of shade I think it's so so pretty I think I'd have to go for this one a little bit over the other but honestly it just depends on the look and the mood that you're in I could definitely wear either one of these and be super happy with my look so she's cute okay we're getting to the point where some of the pinks are going to be getting a little bit deeper and a little bit brighter so i'm going to go for this instead even though it's nice and bold these don't typically stay as much as the pinks so this one is sugarholic if this doesn't make me happy i'm going to be really disappointed because these type of colors make me happy and this is like summer perfection My lips may skew it a little bit more corally, but it's definitely more of an orange. Okay, yep, I love it. This is so cute. And there's just something, I mean, maybe I wouldn't do this with like a, a cool tone smoky eye, but so pretty. And I love this type of lip in the summer with like fresh glowy skin, maybe a little freckling, maybe liner, maybe not, maybe just like tons of mascara but I can totally see this as like a summer staple if you like a bold lip. Once again I just have to say my lips feel amazing right now and that's crazy. I know that these are not drying down fully and they're not full on matte. If you gave them tons of time it will probably be a little bit more matte than what we're seeing here but man does it feel comfortable. My lips feel so hydrated and so like cushioned so I'm I'm loving these. <laughs> Let me know, would you wear the orange? I would totally wear this. All right, we're at the midway point. This is number seven, and this one is called Marshmallow Madness. Again, a little less bright, a little bit more toned down, but looks really pretty. Okay, this is another really pretty one. Once again, this is kind of like a rosy pink, but there's something about it. I don't know, it's still very fun. Super cute, once again. <laughs> All right, next we're going to Marsh to Mamello, and this one kind of looks like it's in the same color family, but maybe just a hint more reddish, but that is the color right here. All right, so there's Marsh to Mamello. This is kind of what I envision when I hear like a rosy pink or rose. This is really cute. It's like a nice medium pink. It's a little bit softer, a little bit more muted, but has some depth to it. So it will show up. So I actually really, really like this color too. I feel like this is very wearable, very like every day. So yeah, it's a cute one too. All right, next we've got Fluff You. <laughs> Okay, this one's cute and very summer. Once again, like a bold lip you could do with some fresh skin. I really like the look of this. It's just, it's nice and bright and fun, but not insane. <laughs> and if orange is a little bit much for you, I feel like you could totally wear this instead as like your nice, bright, fun statement lip. Fluff you is a winner. <laughs> All right, we're down to the final four. I'm gonna go for the brighter red. There's a couple red tones, but this one is called Don't Sugarcoat It. And this looks more like that pretty cherry red. I'm excited. All right, a nice classic bright red lip. This is definitely more of that like cherry red. I really like this type of red. This is the kind that I go for. And if it's not this or an orangey red, those are usually my go-tos and I usually don't fool with it. But this one's super, super cute. So that's don't sugarcoat it. Next we're gonna go for love you s'more because this one is a brown, probably not a lot of chance of staining. <laughs> so this is gonna be the next one we try. Okay, two things. First off, when I first started applying this, I was like, oh no. But why is it when I have it on and it's looking more opaque, I built it up, do I actually like this? And I never like brown, like real browns on my lips. I never ever like. But why am I thinking that this looks good? Am I crazy? Do you guys like it too? Let me know. I'm kind of shook. I feel like it looks really cute. I mean, it's a little, you know, vampy so love you s'more is the winner all right we're down to a darker red and a brighter pink but i think i'm going to go for the red first because i feel like this will be a little bit more staining or stained at this point but i did do just a little concealer on the edges so hopefully it won't be too bad but this is the shade i'm on cloud wine it looks like a really nice red so that's the color oh 
Oh no. Okay, it looks, maybe I'm just colorblind. It looks a little bit more red in the tube, but it's definitely more of a berry or wine shade. I've been layering most of these up a lot. This one is just kind of like a nice little layer. It's not super sheer, but it's not full on opaque so that you can see. I'm loving the amount of color here, but I'm gonna layer it up a little bit so we can see. Okay, just a little bit more full on, but so pretty. I feel like it's a nice choice to go for this type of shade. Like you can see, it looks a little bit more red in the tube. I, I really think so. It looks a little red, a little deeper, but these types of berries and wine shades sometimes do this. Like they look like they're gonna be darker. So don't be intimidated if you're not into dark lip colors and you see this because I think it looks super pretty and you can go a bit sheer than I've done. I actually think this is a really like wearable fun shade. It's a little fun, it's a little bold, but it's still pretty wearable even if you're not into crazy lip colors. And I actually like this lip color with this eye as well. So finally we're going for Candy Wasted, which is a really pretty, it looks like it's kind of like a pinky purple kind of a shade, maybe like a violet. It looks like it's going to be cute. So let's put her on. Alright, so there's the shade. It's a little bit more like Barbie, fuchsia kind of a pink than I was expecting, but it looks really pretty. And yeah, I mean, it's pretty spot on. It doesn't pull quite as much of like a hint of purple as I thought it might, but I think it's really, really cute. So I feel like the only thing that's missing from this collection is like something that's a little purplish. Like this kind of goes in that route, but if you're like a lover of those type of colors, you may not have one here. But there's definitely plenty of like the pink ranges. Like I feel like you have just about any kind of pink that you could want. I'm super, super impressed. Like I thought for sure that I at least wouldn't like the brown one. I'm definitely someone who likes to wear a lot of colors. So it's not unexpected for me to like most or all the shades in a line. But you know, you always kind of find one or two that aren't quite your bag. I mean, I don't know. I usually don't like wine and berry shades, but yet that color was really pretty. This one is really pretty. I will be gravitating more towards that like pinkish, neutral-ish kind of family. And most of these are more like tones of pink, which I love. The red was really pretty. The orange is outstanding. I'm amazed that I like the chocolate brown, but the formula is really, really nice. I am going to let this one dry down for a few minutes and see if it changes at all because you guys haven't really seen like the full dry down. So that's what it's looking like. This is like, you know, 30 seconds on. It doesn't have a shiny finish, but it definitely doesn't look matte. You know what I mean? So this is what's coming off my finger after about 30, 45 seconds. A little bit of color. It's not like an insane amount, but it's kind of like that emollient ingredient you can feel because it's again, got the avocado, the argon, the vitamin E. So it's got some emollient ingredients in there, but man, they feel so good on the lips. So we'll wait a couple minutes and we'll see how it does. All right, so we've been sitting for a few minutes. I kind of did a little bit of fanning too, just to kind of like see if I could dry it a little bit faster. It has definitely changed consistency. So I feel like maybe the longer you wear it, it will be a little bit more long wearing. I would recommend maybe putting this on maybe a half hour before wearing a mask um, that would be a good idea because you want it to dry down a little bit more maybe so it'll stay on so let's do a little test I don't have anything on this finger okay so we're still getting some transfer now once again it doesn't say that it's transfer proof it's not claiming to be long lasting and transfer proof but I still like to give you guys an idea I feel like this would do pretty decently under a mask but it is not a full dry matte now hopefully <laughs> Hopefully soon we, we won't be wearing masks 24 seven. After about five minutes or so, you know, if it's not dried down at that point, I wouldn't count on it. But I do feel like the longer you wear it, it feels, you know, a little bit drier, but your lips don't feel dry, which is great. I give this formula a huge thumbs up. These are, again, $4.99 on the Wet n Wild website, but I will link them through Target as well because $3.99, this formula is good. And sometimes when I do these lip swatches, you know, you know, they're decent, but it's nothing special. I feel like this is a special formula. You can easily pay so much more for a lip just like this. So I am 
thoroughly impressed as you can tell so yeah let me know what your favorite color was I definitely want to hear from you guys and if you're gonna pick any of these up so thank you guys so so much for hanging with me and watching I hope you enjoyed seeing the colors I also did a little a little TikTok <laughs> through this video which is gonna make editing harder <laughs> But I did it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much again. I really, really appreciate your time and hanging with me. And I will see you really soon in my next one. Bye, guys.